Hi, I'm Charles Toda from the Dressage Connection here in Wellington, Florida. Today I'm going to show you our custom line of bridles and strap goods, DC Custom Bridle Works. My first bridle that I'd like to show you is my original design back in 1996. I was one of the first to come out with a cutback head stall. As you can see from the side angle, it has room for the ears. We were the first to ever design this and uh, there's so many features. This was just the beginning point to eliminate the pull pressure on the horse. Another important thing that I always found most manufacturers use square buckles on, on their hardware. Well, a square buckle always has points on the sides, which will then interfere with the horse's face. So we use all Herm Springer curve buckles. Again, it's a curved angle, soft on the horse's face. There's no points, no angles, more comfort for the horse. Another thing I looked at in most bridle work, that the crank cavison, the buckles were all exposed. Yes, yeah, so you would have square buckles sitting on the horse's jaw. So the first thing that in working with Schumacher Saddlery in Germany, we designed our bridle to have full padding underneath with a keeper and a full roller buckle. So now the horse will be more comfortable in the pole, in the face, in the jaw. He'll be softer in the hand, easier to ride. The following year, back in 1997, we thought of coming out with a padded crown. Again, one of the first in the industry is to do this. So we took our simple version of a cutaway ear and made a padded crown version. So this enables us now to give a little bit more comfort on the horse. Again, always with our trademark using curved buckles. This is a double bridle, so your Burdoon hanger goes over the top. Again, it eliminates some buckles on the sides. It's not as bulky looking on the horse, but we all have our features with our signature crank cavison. So we went from the classic model without the padding to our padded crown version. And last year we came out with our unicrown bridle. Basically has all the same features, cut back ears, padded crown underneath, our signature curved buckles, and our cavison with a roller buckle that's all covered for the horse's protection. Basic difference in this bridle, if you have a larger horse and you don't want to have the straps going over the top, all the, all the buckles are then on the sides. So you'll have four buckles on the side of the horse instead of three uh, by eliminating that top strap. If you have a more refined horse, I would suggest the padded crown version less hardware on the side of the horse's face, looks a lot more elegant. In addition to all the parts that we can exchange on the bridles, we also have Savorsky crystal brow bands that we do, and we have no problem interchanging, giving you your choice of colors from clear, you can have natural leather, but we offer all different parts for all the bridles. One of the real important things about all the bridles in the DC Custom line, everything is interchangeable. You're not buying a cob horse or oversized bridle. We have all the parts are interchangeable, so if you buy a horse-sized bridle but need cob-sized cheek pieces, oversized nose band, doesn't matter what combination, we have every part for every bridle to interchange the parts. A very simple way of taking a measurement to know where to start in your horse's sizing. It's all done on German sizing, so if you were to take a tape measure and go from a corner of the lip over the pole to the other corner on the horse, 115 centimeters is cob, 120 is horse, 125 centimeters is oversized. Standard measurements with Passier uses, Schumacher, same way you use. So that's the basic measurement and in buying DC custom bridle work, you buy with confidence. We give a two year unconditional warranty. Anything goes wrong with the bridle, it's replaced. No questions asked. Uh, we're very confident. We've been doing this for over 20 years. Uh, I'm very proud of all the designs. So we hope you enjoy them too. I just want to show you quickly some of our girths and their features. The first one is a pocket girth. Actually, Robert Dover helped design this 
It's a girth that's designed so when the billets come in, they go into the buckles, they tuck inside the girth. So once everything is all closed, when it's on the side of the horse, there's no billets hanging out, flopping as you're riding your test. It's a very clean look. The wide belly girth gives a lot more support on the sternum of the horse. So for your everyday working girth, you know, you want that horse comfortable. So by using a wide belly, you're putting more support on the sternum, more comfort for the horse. The other thing it does, it gets very narrow. So there's plenty of room under the elbow. A lot of times you'll have horses that the shoulders are set back pretty far. So when you sit your saddle behind the shoulder, but then the billets are angling forward to go into the girth channel. You can't hang your girth in the middle of the belly of the horse. So this girth enables you to have the support under the sternum, but the buckles are angled back to catch the billets. So everything will pull together nicely. And the last girth, it's another contoured girth. Just this one we use on a lot of the smaller horses, the Lusitanos, uh, your Spanish horses. Same principle where you do have a wide belly, it's contoured to come under the elbows and the support is the same. It's just not quite as wide. So again, we are here to custom fit for the right saddle, the right horse, the right equipment. The simplest little things like on our stirrup leathers, we do a calf skin, half holes, but when it comes to the buckle, you'll see many manufacturers just use a regular square buckle. Our buckles are curved. So when the buckle sits on the stirrup bar, it has the same shape, so your leg can go over it without feeling the corners of the, of the bar. So it's simple little things, but again, thinking about what makes sense for the horse, the rider, and your equipment. The right equipment makes the difference.